Yeah, I uh, have a long tail history uh, with all of those things. I got interested in uh, uh, Adobe Director in my mm -hmm. earliest kind of tip the toe in the waters. My dad was an old uh, IBM guy, mm -hmm. so he um, he did what they called uh, field service engineering, yes. which basically meant when computers were so big that an electrician would walk inside and actually service the machine and swap out the resistors and things like that. That's that was my dad. That's what he did. And so uh, we had computers in my home from the time I was little, uh, and uh, I was always interested. But I was very interested in art. And uh, you know, the funny thing is. It, uh, for viewers who remember the early days of art and computers, it was very frustrating. So I uh, would generally try and find the newest, fastest, flashiest computer that I possibly could and put graphic software on it. And then I would promptly fry that computer in horrible <laughs> and tragic ways. And fortunately, I was in a university kind of space. So um, I managed to, to escape without much notice. Uh, but I, I did terrible things to those computers uh, over and over. So it wasn't until, um, gosh, I was doing my doctoral studies uh, in the late 90s that finally I was able to find software that would allow me to really tinker and play and uh, do some programming. And that was uh, Adobe Director. Hmm. Uh, and uh, then at that point, Director introduced 3D, uh, which was amazing. And I, I just went nuts with it. It's uh, I remember the early programming experiences. The they, that you know, there were probably a uh, hundred uh, basic commands that you could do in Director before 3D, and then there were about 700 new mm -hmm. commands after 3D. And I geeked out on it. I went insanely deep, really fast. Wrote a big book on it. Had such a good time, and then went on to do a bunch of 3D things. Uh, 